Alright, hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a rapid fire button on the Miles Cool Master Storm Sentinel. Um, Sentinel Advanced. If you have this mouse, it'll be a pretty nifty thing to do if you haven't figured out how to do it already. Um, but if you don't have the mouse, it can be a pretty nifty way to see how the mouse functions. Quite if, if you want to get this mouse, I'd totally recommend it over pretty much anything in its price range. Like, for example, the Death Adder, it's totally, it's an amazing mouse. So for starters, you're going to need to have installed your drivers. And we're going to open them by going start and type in CM for CM Storm. Press enter to open it. Your mouse probably will become less sensitive now. You can either choose casual or pro, there's no real difference. Wait for it to load it up. And once it's loaded up, wait for the software. Once it's loaded, you'll be presented with an interface like this. It's pretty cool. There's a few things we can do. Um, but today we're just going to mainly focus on assigning different buttons to, or different actions in fact, to different buttons. So if I was to click on one of these numbers, it'll show us which button it is. So number one's left click, two's right click, so on and so forth. I want to set my rapid fire button to Internet Explorer back. Okay, so the back button that if let's say you were using file browsing and you press that button, that's the button that I want to rapid fire. So let's say I'm gaming and I've got a pistol or whatever, I can shoot it faster than probably an assault rifle can. So first things first, we're going to want to select rapid fire mouse from the menu. Then we're going to want to select the button that it's going to rapid fire. So for example, we want it to rapid fire left. So when we press this button, it's going to rapid fire left within the timing that we're going to select. This column is the number ranging from 1 to 254 for, con um, for the number of times it will be clicked. If you type in 255, it is unlimited. So you can shoot it once or 254 or anywhere in between, but 255 is limit um, unlimited. So it goes until you let go of the button. Then this column is time duration for each shot while the button is pressed. So what that means is how long will the button be held down for. So let's just make it 5. These are all in milliseconds. So we don't want to overload it, but 5 is still 100 times more than you're going to be able to click. Then interval between shots. So how long are you going to wait between shots? We'll also make that 5. So now we have... We've selected rapid fire for mouse button 7, the button that we're going to click, and how many times, unlimited, interval, and other interval. Now we're going to press apply. Okay. Um, one thing that you'll find is, as I said earlier on, when you open the software, your mouse sensitivity is probably going to get a little bit lower. So you might need to drag this up just a little bit until you're comfortable. Okay. So now I'm going to go into a game, and I'll show you what the rapid fire looks like.